Hey, what's going on? Fixing to do a, a hammer, sear, and disconnector swap on my Springfield mill spec. I got this from Cylinder and Slide. I ordered it directly from them. You know, this is a spur hammer. Not too many uh, aftermarket companies sell a good spur hammer. Most of them are just the ring hammers, which are made for the beaver tails, unless you uh, want to notch your GI grip safety right here. You see, like a lot on the old uh, Delta Elites, stuff like that from Colt back in the 80s. And well, the main reason why I'm changing out, I mean, the trigger pull on this is uh, about five pounds. They just don't seem very good. And you see, it's about five and a half. And you can see this Mem Hammer. Let me get up in there. Hopefully, it'll focus in. I'm not really a fan of that. So, I'm going to show you. It is clear. Do a couple trigger pulls for you. Get it in frame here. Key is always to try to have the gun situated where it ain't moving. Let's see, go one more time. That's used about the highest right there. And I also ordered a new hammer strut. It's supposed to be a little bit better. It was actually the, it was pretty price compared to some of the other brands out there. You can read it. Uh, I don't know if you can read that here. You can just pause it. I had planned on pl uh, replacing the hammer strut pins, but I ended up just ordering the hammer pins. I didn't realize it until it was too late, so I'm gonna have to reuse the one out of here, most likely. So I hope I won't run into any issues, but. We'll get this sucker apart and hope this goes in pretty good. It's supposed to be, you know, drop in, but we shall see. All right, be back in a bit. Well, I guess you can see everything there. One thing I want to show was the difference in these two hammers. Look at this piece of crap stock one. It almost looks crooked in some places compared to this one. And this one actually doesn't even seem to be a, a different length, even though it says it is from the looks of it. Doesn't seem like uh, it's much more to forgive my camera work here. Maybe slightly, but just want to point that out. Having to do a little bit of fitting on the safety here. You can see where it's hitting against the sear right there. Just having to do a file. Be careful with it. Right up along here, you can see. If you look at this old safety, this is an old Colt safety. You can see where they, uh, this has been fitted. It's back in the old school days when they fitted stuff. But I'm just sitting there, being careful with a file, getting it to fit, and just taking my time with it. So, we shall see. Alright, here it is. All finished. I said, uh, I might have said take your time with that filing, but uh, I'm just going to get this clear. But I was filing on it and filing that damn safety. I just got tired of it then. This is my new best friend here. Yeah, that right there. So I thought I had it pretty close and then I just kept filing it. And I was like, hell with this. I just, next day I just picked this up and then just took a little bit of time and it was already ready to go. You know. And. Overall, I was real happy with the kit. You can see how it looks. It looks real good on the stainless here. Look at the hammer there. All that good stuff. But yeah, it looks real nice with it, I think. And I did end up, uh, it came with a replacement uh, mainspring or hammer spring, but I couldn't get the trigger pulled down from five pounds. Even though I was just in the sear spring, I, they came with a new one of those too, and I could never get it, so I just put the original back in it, and everything checks out on I'll do a little check for you. Show you, you know. The uh, safety's on again, it is. Clear. And grip safety, thumb safety's up. No, ain't going nowhere. Thumb safety. Now grip safety. Fire. Another one I said to check was to pull the trigger to the rear. I guess you 
you can see it right there. Hold it and then put the safety down and it shouldn't fall either. You know, and it does reset good. And also, while it does make people cringe doing the uh, drop in the slide, check and see, that's the worst case. Yeah, so no problems there either. It's better to do it with snap caps. Yeah. Much, much better to do it and do a couple trigger pulls for you. Let me get this thing ready here. Now that's actually high. I've seen it usually, I've never seen it higher than four and a half. But usually the first pull is always a bit higher. Huh. Try it again. Well, let's get them down. That's about where I've been getting them down at. But even that's, uh, I mean, four pounds, uh, six ounce, that's still four and a half, which is supposed to be. Most of them have been about four. You know, right there. So, but, real happy how the, the kit turned out. Looks real good on it, so, it did say when uh, test firing it, just load two magazines up, it, uh, just load two rounds per magazine in case it decides to go full auto on you. And uh, and then do three and do about I guess four or five magazines and you should be pretty good to go. But that's the cylinder and slide kit. And it's uh, I'm real happy with it. About the only thing I had to do with the actual kit itself was this is the next stock kit. I had to do a little bit of filing on the side of the hammer because it was just a real tight getting it in there. I didn't want to have to worry about binding it up. I did have to do a little bit of uh, work on the bottom of the hammer strut and getting it because it just wanted to it just couldn't go to a full cock there but it's definitely a lot better kit I mean I didn't have to do any kind of work on it as you can see everything's all the internals work good no hammer follow anything like that but all right see you later